Hello, in this video I'm going to explain you how to insert X-Refs into your drawing. Basically, an X-Ref is a reference to an external drawing. It's a way to see several drawing files in your current file. For example, each of these floor plans is located in different DWG files, and I cannot change any lines or objects here. But by the way, if I change one of the original files, that drawing will be updated here. So, let's see how this works. To insert an external reference, I have to go to the tab Insert and then click in Attach here in the Reference section. So, I'm going to choose a DWG file, but first, make sure I have that option activated, because by default I can only see here image files. I click in open now. In this window I can check this box to specify where I want to insert the drawing, and in this blank I can see the units that were used in this file. I click in OK, and I'm going to click again to specify where I want the file. So here. So, after this, I will attach the XREF of the second floor. Here, just need to click in OK, and after, click anywhere to place the X reference. OK, to look nicer, I can use the command move. I select the file and use this endpoint, hover, hover over this another endpoint and drag it down. As you see, now I have two X references here. And imagine that I want to plot in the same paper just the two floor plans without the text around. This is a simple process. Click in the file and then a new window called external references appear. Now I will click in create clipping boundary to select the area I only want to show. If I move the pointer down, I can see a few options here. And I'm going to click in polygonal. And I'm going to draw an area to cover the parts of the file that I only need here. And don't worry about the shape of these diagonal lines, because after I will show you a tip to hide this border. Just keep drawing until the end, and then just press enter. So, as you see, everything that is outside of this polygon disappeared. For the second file, I will do exactly the same. Click Polygon and select all the area. I'm going to skip it because you already know how to do it. OK. Now, if I go to the Layout tab, I double click inside of the viewport. Then zoom and place the images more or less here. And as you may guess, if I would print now, the borders would also appear in the paper. Because I don't want it, I will show you how to do. Go again to the model and type X clip frame. It's this command. Click in it and I will change this value to 0. Press enter and you can see that the border disappears. In conclusion, external references are very useful for several projects, sometimes with several people working in different files. For example, I can have three people working in each of these files and I use this current one as a master. The advantage here is that any file is modified, this master file 
will be automatically updated. So it's everything in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cut in Black to get access to the full list of tutorials about the cat. Also, if you need extra help, I can provide to you online private lessons for beginners. Just send me an email and then we will discuss all the details. Thank you and see you soon.